Welcome to You Can't Do That on Xbox, where I show custom content from around the world. And tonight, we're really thinking outside the Xbox. Tonight's review is dedicated to an interesting and one of the most earliest campaigns for Left 4 Dead 1, known as The Complex. So this campaign starts off giving us shots of where we need to go and where we are. And where are we right now? Right smack dab in the middle of the woods. And so far it's pretty basic. We grab our guns and ammo and we take to the streets. And we make our way through a tunnel. And down more road. By the way, this is going to be one of those levels where ammo is going to be spaced far apart from each other. So conserve as much as you can. So we find a house with an interesting system display. Pipe bomb. Computer bomb. setup. Ah, it's a smell computer. Look where the monitor Monotop. is. Monotop! <laughs> okay. It's for short person. And then outside we find a mounted gun. But why use that when there's a local swimming hole? They're just frozen everywhere. Okay. Getting back to the main point of this campaign, there is this hidden ladder inside this little shack that takes us down to the underground safe room. Reloading. The fog, the light beams, the huge amount of space. This is just, it, it's beautiful. I have no other words for how awesome this looks. So we make our way over to the zipline house, which takes us down to the lower level, where we can pick zombies off pretty easily, and then we can go exploring. Down the stairs, we go only to find two ways to go. Only one way, though, will take you anywhere. Now this part, it's just weird. This this is either a hospital or a or the zombie black market for organs. Anyway, we find an elevator which takes us further underground, eventually finding three generators that you and your friends have to turn on one at a time. And you can't just stay there either. You have to turn one on, go back to the main room, then do it two more times with the other switches. Then you'll be able to power a lift which takes you up into a room where, where you'll get your ass handed to you by a tank. If you somehow manage to survive that, you'll be able to go into the room the tank was guarding, which looks to be covered in shit. Ah, so it's just like the woods. Sorry, force of habit. And this shit room has a shit safe room. The final level takes us to some old train tracks, which lead us to this castle out in the middle of nowhere. And we summon our rescue and hold out on top of the castle. And what are we getting rescued by? A blimp! A frickin' blimp! You can't fucking do that on Xbox! Well, that was a little strange. And that's the complex for Left 4 Dead 1. It has its glitches, but overall it's impressive for a first and only campaign by someone. For its time, it was rather creative, especially for an unfinished practice map. Yes, this was considered an unfinished practice map, and it was still pretty good. This is a great map to play with friends. In fact, I highly recommend it, because bots aren't exactly the most intelligent on this one. This has been Overlord Tamola. Ruining it for everyone else since 2004.
It's a real illusion